as with many breakthroughs, the study of electromagnetic waves needed to travel out of the laboratory and into the real world to prove its potential. And it began with an experiment on a grand scale. In March 1897, a 22-year-old man stood on Salisbury Plain in front of a crowd of high-ranking officers from the Army and Navy. His name was Guglielmo Marconi, and he had promised to show them communication without wires. Marconi was determined to demonstrate that technology could send messages over long distances, with a few modifications. So I've teamed up with the Royal Corps of Signals to recreate his attempt to turn wireless communication from a scientific idea into a workable system. Born into an aristocratic family, Marconi showed little interest in school and had failed to get into university. He would never regard himself as a scientist at all. He didn't understand science. He was a practical inventor who wanted to be commercially successful and to be known for having achieved something practical. To make wireless into a product he could sell, Marconi first needed to improve its range. His masterstroke was that with the addition of an aerial held up by a balloon, the signal could be transmitted further than ever before. If he could show his audience of top brass on Salisbury Plain he was right, then the military would be an obvious customer. I'm getting really excited now. And why exactly are the military so interested in wireless? Any commander in the field needs to know what is happening at his front line. So the attraction to be able to get a message back instantly uh, without having to lay tens or hundreds even of miles of wire is very important to him. So how is this going to do it? What is our kit, essentially? What we have here is a, a replica of what Marconi had. We're using more modern components, but it, it does exactly the same function. Now, to control this, he has a key which can be operated, Moss key, which starts the process. <laughs> and when you, when you press spark. the key, yeah, it is quite a big spark. And he used even bigger ones. When that spark happens, that energy is then connected via this wire all the way up the antenna. And it radiates into space. But in all directions? In all directions. Marconi knew if he could pick up that radiated energy several miles away, he'd have cracked it. We're going to try to do the same over a distance of 500 metres. This balloon holds up a second aerial, which is connected to the receiver. The longer the wire we have up, the stronger the signal we get at the receiver. As the signal runs down the aerial, it passes across the coherer, completing the circuit and triggering the bell. With all of the elements in place, the royal signals are poised to begin. OK, we're, we're all set up and we're ready for test run. Can you press the button, please? Watch out. Have you pressed it? It's working. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic, it does work. Do it again. So cool. Just to see it working is amazing. Now, that is the fundamental basis of all radio communication that's taken place ever since.